are looking at the brand new head coach of the Belfort Bloodhounds. Why didn't you tell me? Surprise. My assistant thought she was too big for me, so she quit. You know what? You can hit him. I'll look away. You know, if I was stronger, I would hit you. You know, I think you like to make me mad. You have something. What, you think I miss you? <laughs> no, in her two days, I made two players cry. I didn't make you cry, did I? You've been given the keys to a Ferrari. All you have to do is not crash. It's just, it didn't even happen. Yeah, exactly. What do you want me to do? Who stopped talking? <laughs> Suddenly, I didn't really care about it. When in doubt, I'm usually right. There are no stars on my team. Yeah, no stars but you. You would have just kept your lips to yourself. Is there a coupon in there to get you to stop talking? And I'm trying to manage all of that without my very best I assistant that I ever had. I do owe you an apology. Thanks for sticking up for me. I was trying to help. Don't help, okay? I don't need help. Coach and I are not a couple. I like hearing about you. I mean, you're living in my home. Yeah, not anymore, okay? Because we're moving out. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Can I help you? We worked hard for this. We really look you. We were here first, and they come waltzing into our school. Waltzing it. And then number 23, he has to be emotionally manly. What does that even mean? It means he has to be tough, but he also has to be comfortable showing his feelings. We say we're friends, but I'm catching you across the room. It makes no sense. You showed up at the game with him, let me clear that. Let the universe decide. Friends don't look at friends that way.